Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4 and we are using the Kawasaki Z1000 from 2006. A nice motorcycle actually, I've very much enjoyed using it the last time I did a video on it so why not chuck another video in here today. So breaking into the first corner here in Imatra, nice and tight to the apex if we can without getting bumped from the rear, looks pretty good so far and we'll now bring on the acceleration, goodness me! The rides ahead of us have a hell of a lot more acceleration than we do right now. I'm not entirely sure what bikes they're on. I'll have to get a better look as we progress through this race. But nice move up on the inside of the finish rider. And we now have two other finish riders in the first and second position. So it's going to take a bit of effort to try and chase these two riders down. But nice and tight to the apex of turn three. Must say, Imatra's not one of my favourite circuits. But I feel pretty good already jumping on board this Kawasaki. It's got a nice amount of brakes and it's got a nice smooth acceleration so we should be pretty good in today's video but I'm really struggling to chase down Elena Irola but we'll go around the outside now braking as firm as we possibly can but she very very late there on the brakes on board the Yamaha a bit of contact and things are getting a little bit out of shape going into the corner there I didn't expect it to go so wide and then stop immediately in the middle of the track but now it's time to chase down David Pekkanen and, and I'll tell you what We've had a few battles with him in the past, so this one should be a good one as we now swing it to the left ever so slightly to turn it in to the right-hander of turn six. And now we'll bring on the acceleration. Be very careful of touching the wall there. I know in the past I've just gone near the wall and for some reason my rider has crashed, but now onto the right-hand side for turn seven, going a little bit wider here to then get the middle of the circuit to then bring on the brakes for the left-hander coming up now. And I might have gone a little bit too late there. I think I did. It's going to go very cool. Goodness me. I thought I was going to touch that grass. If you get onto the grass there, forget about it. You're going to just slip and slide, and there I'm on the grass once again. Goodness me. And a little bit of wheelie for good measure as well. <laughs> 1.5 seconds is the gap to Mr. Beckett in first place, so we have to... Yeah, we're going to have to sort of dig down deep a little bit and try and chase down Mr. Beckett ahead of us. But across the line we will go. It's now actually 1.8. 1 1.9. Is it going to reach two seconds as we break ever so firm for the first corner as my rider doesn't know which boot to put out? But after Virtual Ace has shuffled his feet around, it's time now to bring on the acceleration and get in behind Mr. Peckin. And we are going to need a lot of slipstream to chase this man down. So onto the left hand side, onto the right hand side, and then onto the flip to, uh, to the left again. That's a bit of a uh, tongue twister. We managed to get through the Nevada turn and now onto the right hand side, going near the stop sign, going very tight to the apex there. Practically running across the rumble strip there. That is so close. The gap has dropped to 1.3 seconds, but it's going to be very interesting now to understand where we are going to gain and lose time. We're good in the first sector. The twisty, windy sectors is where we are good at. Here on the brakes as well, very, very firm, going in turn four in a corner. I will not try and pronounce, uh, attempt to pronounce, can't even speak as it is apparently, as we now bring on the acceleration to try and get in behind Mr. Peckin. And breaking here before that 100 meter marker comes up is very, very vital to getting this corner correctly. And I still kind of messed it up a little bit, maybe a little bit earlier than that one next time around. But onto the right hand side for turn six. We have closed the gap. It's now down to less than eight tenths of a second. But what will it be? For the first corner, when we go into that first corner, how much time would he have gained by bringing on the acceleration? Running it a little bit wide there. You can see how hard I'm pushing here to try and chase down David Peckin. And let me tell you, this is awesome. I have been waiting for a solid race on Ride 4 for so long. And today, we've got it. I need Slipstream to chase down Mr. Peckin ahead of us. Give me Slipstream and we'll beat him. It's going to have to be one hell of a lunge on the brakes to beat him though. There's no doubt about that, but here we go then. You can see him disappearing into the distance. That gap might even get to nine tenths of a second, if not a second, by the time we break going into the first corner. So it's just teetering around a second, but we are very, very strong going into the first corner. We might run it a little bit wide, but we still have it under control. The gap is eight tenths of a second, so we took out a whole second on the finish rider ahead of us. Our goal is to finish ahead of the finish man. Ooh, just picking up a little bit of time there. It is a bit of a bugger that corner. If you go across it a little bit too tight to the apex, you do pick up some penalty time. So I'm not sure how you work out 50 thousandth of a second is worthy of a penalty, but we are now into that prime position of slipstream. So on lap three of five, we are in the slipstream position and we're still losing a little bit of time. It's close. We are picking up a little bit of time. It's still roughly hovering around three tenths of a second. This is going to have to be one audacious lunge, breaking extremely firmly. Can we go with the inside of the mountain? Oh, contact! But we do get through going into turn four. That was a move for the aces. Put that in the Doctor Ace archive. Lord almighty, that was firm breaking at its finest. 
Call me Dr. Ace, last of the late breakers. Oh my goodness. We're going into 2022 with very firm breaking style and that was perfect. I love it. So the deed has been done. We are into the lead here in Imatra and now it is time for us to chuck out the fastest lap times of this race. I'm very pleased with that braking. I really am. That felt so great to execute and I think we did a good job there. Nothing too untoward, just old-fashioned firm racing on board this old-fashioned motorcycle. The Kawasaki Z1000 from 2006 looking like an absolute boss on the brakes. Front brake, rear brake. There was actually a hell of a lot of rear brake being applied for turn four there but now we'll get across the line any moments now to set us up for the penultimate lap of this Finnish Grand Prix but across the line we will go. We actually lost a little bit of time there but of course we did engage in battle with Mr. Pekkanen behind us as we break very late going into the first corner just approaching 10 a.m. here. 10 a.m. is perfect for racing isn't it? <laughs> Especially here on Dr. Race's channel but now on to the right hand side we will go into the tight corner. Let's not get any more penalty if we can avoid it. We certainly do avoid it. Brilliant job for us. And I tell you what, I love this Kawasaki. I think it's absolutely fantastic. If you haven't purchased this one from the DLC, then I would highly recommend you do because it is a superb bike. It handles like a dream. And as you've seen a moment ago, the braking going into turn four is just so, so reliable. It's so good. It's so amazing. I would highly highly recommend this motorcycle and of course if you enjoyed watching that mega performance on the brakes going into this corner a lap ago I would highly recommend you hit the like button and subscribe as well because we'll be doing a lot more hard braking in ride 4 for many many moons to come. So now we are on the sort of cool down part where we've got the job done I'm going to try and improve my lap times but also be a little bit smoother around this circuit. I was a little bit concerned about starting the video here in this track because sometimes it gets a little bit tough in this circuit and it's been a hell of a long time since I last raced here in this Finnish GP so it's a good opportunity to rekindle an old flame and start enjoying this track once again but a little bit too tight to the apex goodness me almighty <laughs> that little um, little signpost caught me off guard there I thought I could go tighter to the apex and now we are on the back foot once again three tenths of a second is Mr. Peckin and behind please don't tell me I've just blown this one that was ever so scary just touching that look <laughs> How did we survive? How on earth did we stay on board this motorcycle? I tell you what, because how good the Kawasaki is, that's why. The Z1000 is amazing. It even treats you right when you are not treating it right. So across the line we will go. Two tenths of a second is the gap to Mr. Peckin and behind as we get a 153. So we lost a hell of a lot of time compared to the previous lap time. But I still think we're in a good solid position. Mr. Peckin is seriously on a charge here. So we need to be very very careful but I'm pretty confident in our own abilities we chuck it to the left chuck it to the right chuck it to the left once more for turn two and we're still in the lead actually gaining around three tenths of a second to Mr. Pekkanen well, now onto the right hand side once again super tight to the apex and super tight to the curb there as well that was a scary moment but let's see what Mr. Pekkanen can do on this gap here David is coming, it's five tenths of a second is the separation, four tenths of a second, it could be lower, but we'll break ever so firm at the 200 meter mark, using a lot of front brake, using all of the rear brake as well, and we enter that corner with style, pizzazz and panache, and now we are leading by 1.3 seconds. That is how important braking is here in Ride 4, especially in a circuit like Imatra that requires a hell of a lot of firm braking. But now on the left hand side, just be very careful of going over the rumble strip there. That was a bit too tight for my comforts. And now we bring on the acceleration. I think we've got this one in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've got the job done. And I'll tell you what, what a race. What a race. I have thoroughly enjoyed this one. I will definitely, definitely be returning back to Imatra once again soon. And maybe even on board the Kawasaki again. Of course, let me know in the comments section down below what bikes you want to see next and what tracks you want to see me feature in a future Dr. Ace Ride 4 video. So upon that note, we are charging down the back straight. There is impossible chances of David Beckenham beating us now. So that is a well and truly earned and deserved victory here in Imatra. So across the line we will go, victory for Dr. Ace, victory for the Kawasaki fans. So upon that note guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let's take a look at the uh, timing screen now to see how we did. Our lap time was pretty quicker than Mr. Peckinham, but I tell you what, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I really, really did. So I hope you guys did too. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe as well for a lot more Ride 4 content. But upon that note, 
Thanks for watching, guys, and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.